Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a graphical website navigation bar using Adobe Photoshop. Okay, I have here a preview of the web navigation bar. And now I'm going to close this image and begin this tutorial. First thing we need to do is go and create a new image. So we go up to File in the menu bar and choose New. Um, for the width, we specify 800 pixels and the height, enter 40 pixels. Choose background color of white and click OK. Next, we need to create a custom gradient to fill the background with. And to do that, click on the gradient from the toolbar. And then up in the uh, menu bar, double click on the gradient to edit it. Now what we have here is the gradient editor. So the first thing we need to do is to edit the color stop, the first one. And for this, we need to double click on the rectangle of the color stop. And we need to enter a hex value of B, E, B, E, B, E. This will give us a light shade of gray. And we need to add a color stop in the middle. And to do that, you click below the gradient somewhere near the middle. And double click on its square box to refine a custom color. All right, now for this, enter 959595. That'll give us a mid shade of gray. And for the location of this, we want to choose 49%. All right, now for the third color stop, um, double click on it to define a custom color. And for this, I want you to enter 3C, 3C, 3C. That'll give us a dark shade of gray. For this color stop, we want to enter a value of 51%. And what that does is it brings these closer together. So now choose OK. Now we need to uh, drag the gradient onto this background. All right, so to do that, click at the top of the image, hold down your Shift key to uh, constrain it to a straight line, and drag down to the bottom, and then release the button. And now we have the background. Now I want you to go to the Layers palette, and drag its layer onto a new layer and create a new layer for it. The next thing we need to do is we need to expand the canvas size. So double click um, to reset your foreground background colors to their defaults, black and white. And we need to go to image, canvas size. And for the new size, choose pixels. Now add on, let's say, 20 pixels to the width and 20 pixels to the height. So that'll be 820 by 60. Now let's go ahead and just refill the background color. Let's fill it all white. So click on the background layer and go to Edit Fill. Choose White and click OK. So now we see our background layer is pure white. So go back to the nav bar layer. Here I'm actually going to name it. I'm going to name it nav bar so I can refer to it that way. Okay now right click on it, choose blending options. Once you add a drop shadow, check the drop shadow box, click on its options. Um, for distance drag it down to about two and size size it at about three. Uh, paste in. We're going to go ahead and pull that down to about 40%. And the next effect we need to add to it, we need to add a inner shadow. So check the inner shadow box. And drag its distance down to about zero. And we also need to stroke the layer. So click on the stroke option for the color. Click on the color selection tool. Grab a shade from the bottom color picker. Click OK. Now it's for its size set to 1, position, put it on the inside, and then click OK. Now let's add some text to the navigation bar. So um, bring white to the front as your foreground color. Click on the text tool and click over the bar and type products. font bold actually you can pick a font color that you like and I want you to add a drop shadow to the text layer so click on its layer in the layers palette um, right click 
choose blending options and let's add a bit of a drop shadow so it sticks out. Drag the distance slider down to zero and the size actually is to your taste. I'm going to put my size to about four pixels. Click OK. Now to create the rest of the text you can just click on its layer uh, drag it to the uh, create new layer icon at the bottom of the layers palette and it creates a new text layer. Grab your pointer tool hold down shift okay I'm at some error here All right. drag the newly created layer to the right and I'm going to duplicate this again I want to have product services about contact and search so I need to do this three more times duplicate the layer. So I'm grab it, drag it. So another another layer. Okay, I'm going to lock this um, nav bar layer because it keeps dragging when I don't want it to. So I click on it, I click the lock option up here in the top. So now I'm going to try to drag that text again. There we go. I'll duplicate it one more time. Drag it here near the end. Okay, now I'm going to go through and edit the text. So I'm click on products, click the text tool, click the products. I'll change this to say services. Click the next one. Say about, and then the next one, have it say contact, and capitalize that C, and the last one is going to be my search option, so I'm going to change that to say search. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and create a button around the search text. So to do that, I'm going to grab the rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to drag an area around the button. Then I'm going to go to the nav bar layer. I'm going to edit copy and then edit paste. So we actually have that the copy of it. I'm going to right click, go to blending options. And I'm going to stroke it with a shade of gray. I'll say probably about any shade of gray. Size one, position on the inside. I'm going to click OK. Now I want to have it stand out a little more. So I'm going to go to image adjustments, brightness, contrast. I'm going to turn the brightness up a little and the contrast down a little so that stands out a little more. I'm going to right click, go back to the blending options and add a drop shadow. I'm going to adjust the distance, pull the distance down, the spread size down to about two. And click OK. Now to create the input field for the search box, so I'm going to again grab the rectangular marquee tool, drag a area for the search input box, then I'm going to create a new layer and fill it with the color of white, edit fill white. Now I'm going to select, deselect, and then right click on the layer. Blending options, add another stroke on the inside of it for the position, size one, color, I'll pick this shade of gray there with the color picker, which is OK. And I can add a bit of an inner shadow to this thing, um, give it a distance of zero. Um, the size, actually whatever looks best to you, I'm going to set it to four. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is to create some dividers to go between these text.